The new Nissan LEAF is not the first electric car to get two charge doors, but these are charge doors with a twist. On the passenger side, we have the new NACS or J3400 connector, and on the driver's side, we get the older J1772 connector, but you notice something missing, the CCS pins. No DC fast charging happens on that side. And oddly enough, on this side, only DC fast charge happens. You can see DC fast charge only right there. So what's going on? In a nutshell, Nissan, Porsche, and a number of other companies really wanted to put an NACS DC fast charge connector on the vehicle as soon as possible so that way these could be charged at Tesla supercharger stations. That's what's going on with the Nissan LEAF. But the hardware on board wasn't quite ready for the shift. The reason for this is this box right here under the hood of the LEAF. This is the onboard AC charger rated for 7.2 kilowatts. You can see the orange cord goes all the way over there to the charge port on the driver's door. There are two main reasons the NACS connector is so small. The latching mechanism is part of the car, not the cable, and AC and DC happen on the same pins. They're shared. But importantly, in a Tesla, there's no onboard switch to swap from AC to DC. So in a fully NACS compliant vehicle, the onboard charger is designed to reject DC power. It's still connected to those pins right over there in something like a Tesla or an Ionic 5, but it's not going to do anything when DC power is applied to the vehicle. Then it has a contactor array to disconnect or connect the battery pack to those same two pins over there on that side. Also, NACS supports 277 volt single phase charging. This onboard charger does not do that. If we read the label down here, it only supports 100 to 240 volts. So not that 277 volts to be fully compliant. And that's why we have this port right over here. This is only connected to that onboard charger, whereas the other side is connected basically only to the DC battery pack. Once car companies go back to the drawing board and redesign the onboard charger, then we'll find fully NACS compliant vehicles. In the meantime, this is kind of a stopgap measure, and that's why we see it on this, and of course, some Porsche models, some upcoming Mercedes models, and probably more and more in the future.